welcome back to my channel basic code in the last video we learn about input and output methods in the angular today we are going to learn about the two way binding in angular in this what is two way binding what is the two way binding is means that when data related changes effective affecting the model are immediately propagated to the matching view like if we are going to do anything in the basically basically two way binding we are going to use in the forms like if we are going to make any changes in the form and we want to see the effect of that form value right away that time we are going to use this one for that angular provide us the ng model that is a special event that we can use to get the output right away so let's start with the video uh, let's start with the with the method okay for that in let's say we have one input method here okay input type any type you can say like text okay we can give a name title okay okay if we will try to see the output of this video of this uh, this input field can we get it like uh, let me show you this is the input field now like if we are going to enter any value in this field we are not going to see the output right let's do this one how to get the output of this form field right away okay for that we need to declare one variable here over here like any any variable you can declare right or you can say enter title enter title we can pass it to a string okay in this and in the html form we are going to use ng model ng model how can we declare this one okay for the round bracket with the braces like this one okay in this way we can pass the ng model ng model and here we are going to enter our declared variable uh, enter that here but this one is giving us an error because to get the value by adding the special directive we if we want to get the value of this field we need to use a, uh, we need to add a special directive to the input field we want to listen okay that is ng model and for that in this file we need to add form module okay let's enter import that one we need to import form module okay let's here add here with the help of this we can now the error is gone here you go now there is no error now we can access this ng model with the help of form module okay to get the variable this one let's say now we we are trying to print this one um let me comment this one first so that we will not get confused with this and let's get the output of this field now whatever the enter title over here okay let's see the result now here you go like if i am saying test here you go now we can get the result whenever we are going to enter anything in the field 
we can do this one without this one also like like we can use the key press and key down but that is not a right way to do that one when we when angular is providing us this ng model property so that we can bind the value with the field easily so now with the help of that we can get updated value of, we can get the updated value of the text input field now okay that's it for ng model property to be binding so thank you and we will see you in another video the next one thank you